Hello and welcome to Ricky's Tech Talk. In today's video, I am going to be taking a look at the new Honor 50 Lite, which joins the Honor 50 Pro and the Honor 50, which I have recently shown on the channel. On the front of the box, it shows the device alongside the name and also you get to see the color, which is known as Deep Sea Blue, and it actually looks really nice. So let's take a look to see what's inside the box and I'll discuss the specs and details as we go along. So just move this to the side, lift up the lid. There's not too much detail about this device. It's a dual SIM device and it has a 128 gigabytes of storage. It comes in six or eight gigabytes of RAM. So we've got a bit of package in there, just take that off. Turn this over, you get to see this deep sea blue color. It looks really nice quite reflective as well in different lights. And we've got some labels on the back there. You've got quad rear camera, which we'll talk about a little bit later on, but that's the device there. We've got then some paperwork. So you've got a SIM tool here. And inside here, we should have a case and some paperwork. Yep, so we've got a case there to protect our device. And also you've got your SIM tool as well. Underneath, we've got our UK three pin plug and just take off this. So pop up third pin, careful that's plastic, USB-A to USB-C connection, but this device also includes a 66 watt on a supercharge, which is really handy and makes your device charge up really quickly. They're stating about 40% in 10 minutes, which is crazy speed, but we'll check that out a little bit later on. Also in the box, you're gonna get your charging cable, USB-A to USB-C, as I mentioned. And as you'll notice, it's actually got an orange inlay here. So there's orange in the USB-C side, and orange in the USB-A, which I can see easier. And if you look on the actual plug, just going back to the plug here, it's orange as well inside here. So make sure you use the cable and the correct plug to get the best performance of charging. And you want that 66 watts of charging speed to just really charge up your device and away you go. So let's take off these stickers on our phone and then we'll jump through the setup process and we'll go into greater details. This one there. So there we go, we get to see our device in all its glory. Seems to have a line down there where it then shifts in texture and design as well, which is really nice. Jolly good. So powering on our device. So your power button is there. I've got feeling that's gonna be a fingerprint sensor. You've got your volume controls and you've got Android as well. So Android has returned to this device with Magic UI and Android 11. So we're greeted with Magic and then we're into the setup process. So just before I fly through the setup process while I'm not showing it on camera and you also have your visual aids down here at the bottom. So you've got magnification and font size as well that you can go in and change. So really nice to see these options back returning here because Android is now on board, which means the accessibility settings are back. As you well may have known in my Honor 50 video, where we went through all the accessibility settings and I will link that in the video description. And as you can see, the Honor 50 Lite is all set up here and it's ready to go. And the main thing is, it's ready to share all the details to you about its key features. So let's go through these details as I share images and videos from around the device during my use during my first day. So starting off with the display, it's a 6.67 inch on a full view display with FHD, which is full HD display quality. Its resolution is 1080 by 2376, and it offers a 1.0 millimeter narrow bezel all the way around the outer edge. And it looks absolutely great actually, really large screen here, really helpful for me. And this offers a 94.4 screen to body ratio, having them very thin bezels, which means you'll get to see all of your content and not distracted by bezels on any side. As you can see, we've got a small chin here at the bottom. You do have your cutout for your front facing camera there. Being visually impaired, as many of you know, it's nice to see that they've got two Vryland certification for low blue lights. This means it reduces the low blue lights on your device and easy for you to use during the night or when you don't need such a bright display. They also offer ebook mode for easy reading of emails and websites. And they do offer dark mode, which you can also schedule to come on at different parts of the day, depending when you want to use it. As you can see from a large display, it offers many colors with over 16 million colors 
and a pixel density ratio of 391 pixels per inch. Built into the display is your front facing camera. So it's to the left hand side, which is really helpful when gaming and you turn down here because potentially you're going to cover it or not notice it, which is really nice. It's better than being in the middle or to the right hand side. So the front facing camera is 16 megapixels in size and it has an aperture of f2.0 and it's fixed focus, so no autofocus there. And it offers video recording at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Turning around to the rear of our device and diving deep into that sea blue back there, it looks really nice. You'll find a quad rear camera. Your main lens is a 64 megapixel with an aspect ratio of f1.9, and that's autofocus. You then have an eight megapixel wide angle camera lens, which has an aperture of f2.4 and that's fixed focus. You have a two megapixel depth camera and that's aperture is f2.4 and that again is fixed focus. And then finally you've got a two megapixel macro lens and that aperture is f2.4 and again fixed focus. Video recording is the same as the front and that's 1080p at 30 frames per second. But remember this is their light design from Honor. So they can't give the full flagship quality in the light options. So they have reduced it slightly here. Your device is running Magic UI 4.2 alongside Android 11. The color is deep sea blue and they offer a range of different colors, but the deep sea blue is the one that they sent me. Storage wise is 128 gigabytes with no micro SD card storage allowance though. And RAM it comes in six gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM, depending which model you choose, depending on the region it comes from also. So it has a multifunctional NFC capability. So you can use this for shopping. You can use this for public transport and of course for sharing information. The battery is quite large. It's 4,300 minute hour battery with your 66 Honor Supercharge, which will get you 40% charge in just 10 minutes. And when charging, you can see your device actually trickle up in its percentages. It's available to buy throughout Europe, and I will make sure to add a link to Honor's website in the video description. I will also share a link to my Honor 50 videos I've created here on Ricky's Tech Talk in the video description. And finally, all that's left to say is thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to be notified as soon as I launch new videos. I will be creating a range of videos on the Honor 50 Lite alongside the Honor 50, and I will try my hardest to get the Honor 50 Pro so we can do a comparison between all three models. But for me, Ricky, thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.